Okay, this just in. Big thanks to John Rothstein. Big thanks to Brendan Marshall for hanging out on our show today. But uh, Shefty is saying that former number one overall pick Baker Mayfield, gosh, I remember being on the floor when he was drafted, and it was a huge shocker. Well, he goes to the Browns, then he goes to the Rams, and there were a little stint at Carolina between then. Um, reached an agreement today on a one year deal worth up to eight. Point five. Can we bring that tweet back up there? I wasn't quite ready reading it. Uh, and this is breaking news to me, so I don't have it. 8.5 million per source is Mayfield. Now in line to be Tom Brady's successor. I like this because this has been the connection all along for Baker Mayfield. A lot of talk about him going to Tampa and doing his thing there. Uh, and they've got very little wiggle room with money. They would love to bring back some of their free agents. They've got tough decisions to make. Uh, and I think we've got Hamilton here. You've been following this since it broke while I was talking a little college hoops because, you know, that's what I do. I talk <laughs> college hoops and the tournament now, apparently. Uh, yeah. But I like this fit because it's because it's a low-risk, high-reward. I don't know about their run game and what they plan to do there to help support him, but they simply didn't have the money, and this is the best they could do, and this is a nice team-friendly deal for Baker, who's got something to prove. Yeah, he's got something to prove, and he's going to have a ton of talent around him because he's still got mm -hmm. Mike Evans. He's still got Chris Godwin there. And as you talked about a little earlier with Brandon, this NFC South is going to be wide open with Baker at quarterback. I thought, you know, once he went to the Rams, I thought he did a decent job there last year. Obviously, we saw that big comeback against the Raiders that he led. He showed he still got something. And, um yeah, the, that NFC South is very much up for grabs. And as you said, too, the Bucks have a lot to figure out. The Levante David situation, they have a lot of guys they have to, you know, figure out how they're going to bring them back. And this is a team-friendly deal that's going to help them do that. Uh, you know, he was, I think he was, I wasn't, since uh, San Francisco kicked their tires on him, too, didn't they? There was potentially some of that, but uh, you know, we don't we don't know where Fournette's going. I don't know if there's a world, you know, like obviously they're set to release him. They need some sort of situation there to support him. He does have those receivers, I guess. I like it. I like it for the Buccaneers, and it's anyone's game. It's why Chris Collins was saying, Aaron Rodgers, what are you doing going to the AFC East? Go down to the South.